Hi guys, Asmo here and today I'm gonna show you a full challenge run of the Forbidden Sanctum. We're doing the Gilded Chalice unique uh, challenge, uh, which is basically uh, you cannot have inspiration, which is a big, big, big downside, and you cannot recover resolve. So the way you work around this is by abusing maximum resolve. So especially if you're at maximum resolve, if you're gaining uh, max resolve, it's giving you the total resolve that you have. So if you're like at 100% and you have 300 resolve, if you increase it, you're gonna increase the total resolve that you have as well as the maximum. So we're abusing max resolve. Um, I have a few relics here. Here I have like the, my regular setup. Um, I have also like two other stash tabs in my stash filled with relics um, but basically there is there is this unique one the broken sensor and the gilded chalice i found a couple more of those so i'll be running them later but they're basically the same thing right so you cannot recover a resolve you cannot have inspiration um, and the herald of scourge drops an additional invocation so the invocation is the thing you can use to um, apply a keystone to one of the relics if you have a non-corrupted relic um, this is unmodifiable however you can use the um, invocations to apply a keystone and there is a bunch of different keystones so i want to start farming them so i want to show you here are the relics that i have here uh, chosen that uh, that i had available that will work well with this so this is 12 percent increased max resolve and gain max resolve when you kill a boss uh, gain max resolve when you kill a boss and then we have gain max resolve when you use a fountain and 30 percent increased max resolve and then plus flat 18 to max resolve and uh, double coins so i'm gonna uh, see you in the first floor after i collect all of these i'm basically gonna record every single floor tell you my choices hopefully this will teach you something about how to run sanctums because the base version of sanctum in my opinion is like super 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 easy like it's pretty much impossible to fail unless you like don't have enough damage to skip the last phase of the boss and you have to do the circle phase like the circle maze phase is like the only difficult thing of the whole sanctum uh, everything else is super super easy so uh, if you don't think it's super easy hopefully this run will teach you something so let's confirm these relics here um, and let's start collecting uh, the sanctum rooms and i'll see you when i have the full eight to run all right we've got eight rooms now so i can start with the chambers of inscription fountain and then i can see black smoke which we don't want to get and then both of these uh, have three three uh roots out of them uh, which is pretty equivalent i'm gonna go into this first and then see where i want to go uh, because i'm gonna get one room ahead of that revealed so we're gonna have more information defeat all guards so i definitely want to try to not get hit as much as possible so i'm gonna play a giga safe i'm gonna play overly safe uh, my build has like two 2 million dps so it can kill the guards uh, decently quickly it's not too fast it's not too slow it's just okay for me to consistently do uh, this league mechanic so i'm gonna kill everything we're gonna collect all the coins coins are pretty important early on this is a quick fucker uh, i'm gonna make sure that i'm not getting hit by him okay this guy just jumped to me he's smoke mining toward me just gonna make sure i don't walk into any of his mines brand playstyle is super uh, easy mode for this because you can just put brands around the walls and just wait for that okay so um not gonna spend actually i have if i use a fountain i have a relic that gives me max resolve when i use a fountain right so i can actually use so we got 451 out of 451 477 out of 477 so we actually gained the max resolve because of the relic right so if you want to view your relics you can click on sanctum in here you can see uh so we got 27 max resolve when i use a fountain okay so that's why actually it was relevant to use the fountain um don't see what's ahead of here yet so we're gonna move here and then Let's see. So we got Monsters Inflict Resolve Weakness on hit. Um, if I get hit, it uh, doesn't really matter. Volatile Anomaly and then Lose Coins when you use Resolve. Lose resolve. Um, Fiendish Wings is currently bugged. Never pick this. Always avoid this. 
uh, less damage uh, for me that's pretty bad because it makes the end fight more difficult and i don't want that so it's either the um, resolve weakness this is a minor treasure as well anomaly uh, this is a fountain as well so i'm probably gonna go through the minor treasure into the fountain i can use the fountain and gain more max resolve um, and the split purse is uh, fine i'm probably not gonna hit too much i'm gonna have enough coins so it's gonna be totally fine so let's go into that room so this one is also defeat all guards okay let's avoid this guy let's try to not get hit right collect all the coins Oh, there's the magma orb these uh, little like imps these flying imps that sometimes uh, appear not the guards uh, yeah these guys oh shit i got actually hit by this guy so we're gonna test if uh, i can actually recover resolve by getting maximum resolve or does it uh, not grant me resolve if i'm no longer at maximum so we got all the coins more coins from the treasures 69 coins that's a big amount uh, and then we got the fountain here we also have a fountain but we never want to go through the fiendish wings and here we got a fountain into fountain okay so that sounds uh, pretty good if this actually works uh, in that way okay this is a simple and easy room at least for this build i don't know how you guys are dealing with this room with other builds but for this build this is like super easy room anything with like with the laser is super easy the only difficult one is like the half circle one uh, where you have the laser on the bottom and this laser this skull the it's it's currently bugged right because it is actually uh, benefiting from the monster haste right the monster speed uh, but it's also a trap right like I mean it's supposed to be a trap right there's no way this is not supposed to be a trap because when you have you pick the traps are disabled this, the skulls are disabled uh, but when you pick the monsters are faster the skulls are faster as well uh, so they're currently back okay so let's see four seven four six six out of four seven seven okay so you still gain the resolve which makes this challenge actually actually way easier than it would have been if you couldn't gain the max max resolve right so whatever percentage you had you're gonna is, is gonna just add still like uh, the maximum to your current so gaining maximum resolve gives you current resolve as well which is pretty overpowered so that's why we're going through these fountains so we've got a treasure but we can go into this treasure and after that we're gonna have two choices so we're gonna go again to the fountain um, because that's gonna be uh, what gives me the max resolve right okay we got a boss here We're gonna kill the ads. Oh shit, that's a lot of. Uh... Yo, calm down, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. That was a lot of stuff. And we gain max resolve again from our relics, right? Because we got the. We got the 76 maximum resolve when you kill a boss. So this room is called um, Scriptorium. If you see the Scriptorium room, uh, then that's gonna be a boss in the first level, uh, and that's gonna give you even more resolve. So we click on this, we got 580 now. So basically this is unlosable now. This is so much resolve that we cannot really lose. Um, traps impact increased resolve and major treasure. So let's go into the major treasure first because we don't have a choice, so we'll make the decision later. Make sure there is no chest here to open. I want to get all of the coins I can get early on because they're pretty important. Every like single vendor purchase can be uh, game changing. I've got a rusted expedition scarab as well from this guy. Okay, we opened everything we can move on and we got a big treasure very nice 
huge amount of coins. Make sure I picked up everything. So we got 625 coins now. And then we can go through the bottom, minus 100 to maximum resolve. That's a <laughs> that's an unfortunate one. Uh, that's a pretty bad one. Um, so in this challenge, actually, the dark, uh, the accursed pacts are worse. There are a lot of pacts that uh, lower your max resolve or like trade resolve for inspiration. In normal runs, they're amazing and you always want to pick them. But in this challenge run, this is actually something we want to avoid. So I'm just going to skip this and go to the uh, Templar Annals, which is the circular room with, like a, with the walls, uh, with the skull in the middle. So unfortunately, we're going to lose 100 of the resolve that we worked so hard for. But there's no way to avoid that, so it's totally fine. That's just something you have to deal with. In general, like you shouldn't be getting hit much. Like there are certain combos and situations where you can get hit, but most of the time you should you should just not be getting hit. Like in a room like this, you should just not get hit. There is nothing really scary in this room. You can just walk in circles and 99% of the time you're just not gonna get hit. Okay, so now last room we unfortunately cannot avoid this. Uh, so we're gonna get the minus 100 resolve. With Brands, the guy that uh, duplicates himself, the uh, smoke mine guy, I can actually put because only two Brands can attach to a carrot to an enemy. But if there are more enemies around, then I can put more brands and actually his clones are damaging him by having extra brands attached to them. Okay, so as you can see again, we didn't get hit a single time in here by just running in circles and having moderate amount of damage. I think like 2 million DPS is not that much to ask for uh, very comfortable uh, like and successful completion of the league mechanics so but the playstyle of the brands is just amazing it's uh, pretty much the best okay so we're getting even more maximum I get hit by like one flying random meteor I think and we've got a relic uh, coins at the start of the sanctum and that's it. So now I'm going to go and get these rewards. Just clicking stuff at the end to have a bigger loot explosion. Um, and now I'm going to collect the next eight and I'm going to see you on the floor number two. All right. And here we go. We got floor number two to start with. We have empty troves. So chests no longer drop areas coins. And uh, this is pretty bad because chests are the main source of your coins. I already have a thousand coins. So I could probably pick this and get away with it. No problem. Uh, but it's pretty bad uh, and I like to have a lot of different options and coins provide you with so many different options um, Then we've got the spiked shell 30% more monster life again It's gonna make the end fight more difficult and it's gonna make everything take longer uh, but Overall, if you have enough damage, this pretty much does nothing and it provides major treasure. So you're going to get tons of coins with this and this one 50% reduced effect of your uh, non-unique relics. Uh, so this is going to make it so that everything is still easy. Uh, I still get all the coins, uh, but I have less effect of this. So basically, I'm going to lose a bunch of maximum resolve, which is the main thing that I'm scaling for my defense here. However, I mean, this is 42% increased maximum resolve. So this is a pretty huge amount. Honestly, uh, so I'm considering going for the spiked shell actually and making things a little bit more difficult However, uh, I still should have enough damage to kill everything I just have to dodge for a little bit longer and it's uh, attached on a major treasure as well uh, Giving me an option to go into the fountain as well a lose resolve when you use a flask doesn't really matter I only need to use a flask on a boss fight for some extra damage. That's the only point uh, at which I do that. So yeah, I'm gonna press spam all my flask and uh, lose like 50 resolve three times and it doesn't really matter. So, uh, but maybe I can go in here and look at the different options. I think I'm gonna go for the derelict caverns, just get most coins, uh, keep all my resolve, just make things have a little bit more HP. 
so I can hide here, <laughs> wait for this guy to die, <laughs> wait for the ability of this other guy to finish, and then continue. So again, this guy is gonna spawn a storm now. Where is the storm? Okay, storm disappeared. Okay, I got hit by something there. I think one of these orbs activated really quickly. Jump over the storms, jump over this, pick up the treasure. So yeah, chests are the main source of the coins. You get some coins, you can see here, five coins from the monster, right? But I got like five, see, I had a thousand coins already. So I got like 50 coins um, from that room. But if you look at the treasure, right? So from 1,050, we're going to 1,325, right? So 275 coins from the single treasure here. So that's the biggest source. That's why uh, losing coins from a uh, chest is uh, pretty bad. Okay, so here I'm probably gonna go for the gauntlet and I'm gonna go for the uh, merchant. I don't, I don't really need the fountain for the max resolve. I can totally go for the uh, gauntlet and then into the decrepit cellar and see what we get. Because overall the fountain would give me less than I'm gonna gain by using the fountain. Okay, this guy is doing some crazy magic. Can I hit him from outside of here? I think I can. Oh, he's spawning damage on top of me here as well. Very rude, but we killed him. Okay, let's try to avoid these. He's gonna do the slam. Okay, uh, this guy is doing another ability. Okay, this is a very chaotic uh, room. We can jump through here. These guys are gonna do their ability that does damage. That's kind of like Armageddon brand, actually. Kill these guys, kill this guy. It can also drop coins. Let's see if he dropped coins. No, he didn't drop coins. And then we got some also other stuff here, but I don't think we need to go there. Okay, let's go to the exit. See the offers. This is gonna be the most currency. And then let's pick the next room, which is gonna be the merchant. And then we've got another treasure or whatever is a good option in terms of the pathing. So we'll see, because we'll uncover one more room. And with more information, maybe we make a different choice. All right, get the coins from this guy. Kill these guys. So even though this says find the exit, I want to maximize the amount of coins I'm getting. So I am actually killing everything. I'll pick up treasure from this. Pick up treasure from here. More coins, okay, didn't leave any coins in there. Should be one more guy here, yep. Oh, actually two, okay. Pick up all these coins. This is a rare character. It's a guard that you don't see very often, but he's usually in this room. And then we got Divinia. So let's see what we got in terms of op options to purchase. Uh, monsters have less max life. That's a pretty good one. You cannot receive any more minor afflictions. That sounds insanely overpowered, actually. I've never seen this major boon before. Uh, you can see additional room. This also insane. These are all ridiculous okay obviously we're gonna pick that you cannot receive any more minor afflictions because that's just completely broken um and that that way we can also use like different uh, uh accursed pacts and things like that however if this was not here i guess i would have enough coins to purchase everything right everything else uh, however with this and i would buy like pr the priority would be probably you can see additional room ahead that's the 
main priority this is very very powerful you can see more rewards you can see where the divines are you can see the road ahead is much much uh, easier to complete the sanctum with this uh, the second uh, best one will be probably the sanguine vial try to nuke the boss uh, by having the boss have less health and a combination of the dagger as well for you having more damage so that's a really good one and then vicious icor the traps are slower monsters are slower these both are like all right um, these both are like not not particularly like game breaking but they're just make give you a small advantage uh so i'm definitely gonna pick the crystal chalice completely ridiculous then i'm gonna go for the additional room uh, and then we can get probably the monsters have less maximum life or reduced action speed not sure which i'm probably gonna go for the maximum life and uh continue like this gain resolve doesn't do anything because i cannot gain resolve because of the unique uh, item but yeah not being able to gain any more afflictions um means that i'm probably going to be able to use some pacts and abuse them to my advantage like i cannot gain my minor afflictions ridiculous ridiculous okay so now we've got uh this is a minor affliction which we're gonna uh not be able to receive right so we can to go totally go through that we can go through this and then we can go through a cursed pact and then we can go to the boss uh so let's go through it and uh actually minor treasure yeah, yeah let's go through the battleground into this into this yeah that's the better path okay we got easy room again okay, these rooms with like the lasers in the middle are pretty much the easiest rooms they might not seem like it it might like at first you might be like overwhelmed like holy shit there's so much stuff i have no cover i cannot dodge anything uh but it's actually the easiest because you just walk in circles all right pick up all the coins uh, pick up the offer and then let's see the rooms ahead okay the merchant okay so this is also a minor i think uh but i think i'm gonna go through the pact actually fountain uh. okay so this way we can go fountain uh pact and treasure we can go fountain fountain treasure or we can go one fountain here and then this fountain here with the boon um i'm gonna probably try the pact uh Pacts have rewards that uh, are hidden, uh, so I'm gonna go through that uh, because sometimes it can be like divines. On floor three, the pacts can have divines, for example. Uh, so okay, we're gonna enter in here. So we did not get the uh, minor affliction, right? Because the minor affliction on the map for this room is guards release volatile anomaly on death. We don't have that, uh, so we can just totally go through ignore minor afflictions okay grab the coins grab more coins A lot of enemies in here. Okay, I walked into a mine that I didn't see on the ground, but that's okay. So, gain a random minor affliction, which we're not gonna gain. So we're just gaining max resolve. That's all this is giving us from the um, relic that we have. So now I'm gonna try the pact, because the pacts can be really awesome. They can be like gain minor affliction, gain minor boon, and then in that case, it's gonna be purely just gaining a boon. So we can just potentially gain a bunch of uh, boons. Okay, why are they packed in a corner that I cannot jump through? Okay, there we go. Get out of the way of this. Pick up the coins, don't walk into the mines, pick up the cash. Okay, let's see what do we got. 
Mark of Terror, uh, Monsters of League of Zoe. That's a that's a small one, right? That's a small one. Pretty sure that's a minor one. Uh, so if I pick this, Mark of Terror is not here, right? So we only gained the boon. So monsters with forty percent less damage, pretty good for the end fight. And then remove monsters have less max life. Remove cut pur split purse. I don't care about that. So. Uh, yeah, I would rather have uh, monsters with uh, less life and I don't need all the coins. Let's see the rewards, we get all of regret and we can move on. And of course I'm not gonna pick the remove, like lose maximum resolve because that would be very bad for me. Okay, one more room. And then we've got the two bosses. easy mode okay we got 320 coins now and 500 resolve still and we're getting some extra coins here and we're gonna get some coins for killing the boss as well so let's just go into the boss room I think usually you might want to like prioritize killing one of them over the other uh, they have different abilities but maybe it's just random uh, but when you kill one of them, the other gets empowered. And there we go. 650 resolve. So my resolve is going up as I'm going down the sanctum. <laughs> so we started with 400 something, then we got to 500. Now we had 652 resolve, right? So with this setup, it's actually pretty easy. We get some sextants. We get some chaos for the end, we get some stack decks for the end, and we get to collect another eight rooms, and I'll see you on floor number three. All right, and here we've got floor number three. So from the start, we've got a merchant, which is what probably most people would go for. Merchants are super powerful. However, we have to consider that we don't have that many coins. It's only 735 coins, so we can buy maybe one or two boons. And uh, some of them might not be even useful to us because we're running a pretty special run. And we will still encounter probably either one or two merchants still because we have one more floor to go after this one. So I would prefer the pathing of a fountain into fountain into a cursed pact. That way we can ignore, you know, we can benefit from the fact that we have these um, minor afflictions that don't affect us and we can pick up a pact uh, and it's a much better pathing for me and even though I'm ignoring a merchant I'm gonna get one later on and I'm gonna benefit from these and still get to spend all my coins probably uh, until you know until the very end so we're gonna uh, pick up the fountain and the minor afflictions are not gonna be affecting me so I'm still gonna be like at these three afflictions we're gonna try to not get hit this is find the exit um, which is gonna be always here so this one is actually a very quick one uh, and then again gain a random minor affliction so this is just going to give me some max resolve and we can move into the next room uh, and here we can see fountain fountain minor treasure major treasure so probably going to go into the major treasure unless this is a very bad note that we want to avoid in that case we can probably do something else but first we're going to go into this fountain actually this fountain kind of commits us to this node so this is something that you want to look out for um it's kind of bad to do what i'm doing right now however because i have the immunity to minor um uh, afflictions it's, um, it's pretty safe no matter what i do uh but by picking this node here i am 100 percent committing to have to go here right because from here i can only go well actually from here i can also go to this one never mind i can also go into this and into this so it's actually safer than i thought okay so reduced resolve recovered it's not gonna affect us because again minor affliction we're immune to those uh, defeat all guards let's do that then let's not walk into the fire on the ground rule number one of uh, raiding in world of warcraft okay i stood in that uh, like an idiot i didn't realize that he was doing the smash move okay 
Okay, so we got it complete. Pick up some coins. How many coins do I have? We got 740. Are there any chests? Yes, there's a Templar cache in here. And I think we picked up everything. All right, we can move out of here. And we got another fountain. Another extra increase to our resolve. So we're at 646. Um, and then we can either go through the fountain and there we go, we have a merchant. So we have exalted orbs, but it's probably gonna just like one exalted orb. I don't really care about it. I don't really care about it. I, I do other things for currency. This is like uh, sanctums. I run for the relics, right? I want the relics. I want the super cool, unique stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna go into the pact, into major treasure, into merchant. This is a very good pathing. And from merchant, we get three roads out, which is also amazing, giving us a lot of options. So we're gonna do that. Okay. This room has been nerfed severely. It used to be like uh, a challenging room. And once you figure it out, then it was kind of easy, but um, you still had to like do precise movement. Um, and then it would be only become challenging when you pick up the turbo because the turbo would also affect the skulls. But now this room is super easy and I bet even on turbo it would be pretty easy. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, it seems like way too easy. They nerfed it super hard. Uh, the only challenge, there's only like one challenging room now pretty much that uh, you can like it was cer in certain situations like pretty much impossible to avoid getting hit. Okay, we killed everything. We can also open the one chest. Now we open the chest. Okay. So we got 800 coins. Let's see the pacts. Uh, gain a random minor affliction, removed spike shell. Okay, monsters have 30% more maximum life, so we are immune to minor afflictions. Perfect. Monsters no longer drop coins, gain three random minor boons. I think this is a major affliction. Let me quickly check. Uh, I can go to uh, POEDB very quickly. I'm gonna put a link in the description as well so that you can check yourself. I wish these things were communicated better in game, but okay, death toll. Let's see, afflictions, death toll. It's a major affliction. Okay, so we are not immune to this one. Um, lose random minor boon, lose random minor affliction. I don't necessarily want to lose any of my minor boons and none of the minor afflictions really bother me that much. Um, the monsters have less life, deal less damage. You can see extra room. These are all amazing. So I'm going to keep them and we have a divine. Okay, so we got one extra divine. Like I said, these can have on floor three divines. Um, so definitely something to look for if you're just like having a great run and you're looking to maximize your uh, currency rewards. So now we go into the major treasure, uh, Infernum, which is the room that we just finished, the nerfed room. So we're gonna do that. I can pick up these because everything is moving so slowly. You can pick up more coins. And yeah, brand playstyle, as you can see, is just super easy for this. It's a really, really easy playstyle for this. Whether, whether you have like totems, minions, or brands, it's really, really good. If you're struggling in Sanctum, definitely would consider rolling one of those builds. Alright, then we got cash with a ton of coins. I'm gonna end up with over 1000 coins again and then we can go straight into the merchant. Okay, we gotta defeat all the guards. Pick up the coins, pick up the coins, pick up more coins. Okay, this guy's jumping to me. And we got guards on the left here as well. And the room is complete. Right, we got Divinia. What do we have? Increased resolve recover does nothing. Recover max resolve uh, does nothing. Inspiration does nothing. Plus to max resolve. This is good. And monsters have reduced action speed. This is good. So plus to max resolve. Now we got 797 resolve out of a thousand. And then we've got monsters are slowed and everything else. The recovery and inspiration doesn't work in this run because of the unique uh, 
relic. So we just picked up some good stuff and we move on. Uh, we can move through this fountain into this reward or through these rewards into the fountain. So I would rather go through the chaos or uh, sextant. The sextants are the second reward, so it's probably not going to be that many of them. So I'm going to go for the chaos into the benevolent uh, fountain. And again, the minor affliction there is a non-issue because we're immune. Uh, find the exit. Since I have a lot of coins, I don't necessarily need to um, keep collecting them and killing everything. Pick up some stuff and then we can just look for the exit, which is going to be up here. I'm going to kill this guy. So I can pick up this chest as well. Some extra coins and there we go. All right, 14 chaos. And the next we got Benevolent Fountain, so we're gonna get a minor boon. Oh, this is uh, the quick room. When you see this uh, thing, I can jump downwards. It's always gonna be like this, a super quick room. I uh, gain a random boon. Next 10 guards you, kill, uh, you hit are killed instantly. It's trash, it's useless, but whatever. It's free. Uh, well, actually, it's not free. It's 150 coins, but okay. Okay, so this is gonna be one of the challenging things, not getting hit too much on the boss. So I'm gonna try to do a lot of damage to her. Quickly jump over these. Okay, just try to avoid the beams. I actually got hit by one of the beam for a split second there. Okay, we got the balls. Let's just try to jump over the balls. I got hit again. Okay, we got Sanctified Relic. Let's see what it is. Reduced Reflected Damage Taken. Okay, we got some garbage relic. Okay, let's pick up the rewards. Uh, let's pick up the 10 Chaos. Out of this, we got 8 Robes of Unmaking, a Divine Orb, because that was from this floor. And uh, let's move on to the next one. So I'm gonna go collect eight more rooms and see you on the last floor with 800 resolve almost, bunch of boons. We are doing very, very well. All right, and here we go with the last floor. We have a lot of different options. The first thing I do when I'm on the last floor, I check for divines. So I quickly scout if there are divines, if there are no divines, then I look for my other options. Here we have a nice option of going either to the vendor with a uh, minor affliction that we can ignore uh, or going into a fountain that I would normally even go to like if this was a normal run I would probably go into this fountain it's a uh, benevolent fountain uh, that's gonna heal me I'm probably gonna have a ton of inspiration anyway it's gonna give me more inspiration by giving me affliction that doesn't affect me because I lose all coins at the floor completion and the floor completion is the sanctum completion so it doesn't really matter um, so this and it also gives you a minor boon so this would be a really really good note to go to normally uh, however in this situation I'm probably gonna path toward the um, accursed pacts because that's where uh, also divines could potentially hide which I don't see anywhere here so I'm gonna look for some divines and also pacts are pretty cool with this perk that I have right with the I can't receive any minor afflictions usually there's gonna be a good option for me if not I can just skip the pact and do nothing and I might still encounter vendor in the future but I only have 600 coins so the vendor is not gonna do that much uh, so I'm just gonna go into the uh, accursed pact and uh, path that way Uh, so we have 789, find the exit, okay, so I'm just gonna... Oh, we murder them in one hit, okay. Uh, so let's path through this, like so. Kill this guy, okay, this one is tricky, so I'm gonna try to not die. Okay, I got hit once, that's acceptable. Okay, we're gonna kill this guy in one hit again. Collect the gold. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. And then path here, so we didn't get hit by that. Uh, I'm not gonna collect this gold. Screw it. Oh, that guy doesn't even count as a guard. Okay, that's why he didn't get one shot. Okay, let's see. Uh, gain a random minor affliction and remove weakened flesh. Let's, let's see. So 740, is it going to give me more? Yeah, we got 80, 840. So we remove the weakened flesh and also get a little bit extra because of the multipliers that we have. And lose maximum resolve. Of course, we don't want any of those because resolve is our only defense here. And we got 10 chaos and uh, that's going to be nice. So we got some nice rewards. 
and then we get another merchant so we can path through the crypts into minor treasure into the merchant uh, so this is gonna be a really good pathing so let's see the options. Do we have three kills anymore? Uh, I still have next six guards uh, I kill. Okay, so this is the only like challenging room. However, because I have the the boon, uh, it's super easy. But this room could be challenging if you have like turbo or something like that. Uh, sometimes uh, if you have like extra speed of uh, minions you know the skull is affected by it as well so that's why this room becomes difficult especially if we have like volatiles and gargoyles and stuff like that that becomes very very challenging okay let's see what we have in the pact gain assassin blade gain fiendish wings so fiendish wings is a minor one as far as i know right i'm gonna just confirm fiendish wings it's a minor affliction it's a, that's the one i was talking about all the time it's a horrible one you never want to pick it however i can just do it to get gain access because uh, i don't want to remove this i don't want to uh, do this this is a major one right so we're just going to gain access to the rewards get 12 stack decks um, and some free kills on the guards okay let's see oh we got another pact here and a fountain this is beautiful so we're going to go into minor treasure into the merchant uh, this is really good. Okay, defeat all guards. We're gonna get some extra coins for killing everybody here as well. Right, grab the coins, grab the coins. And we've got also a minor treasure, 800 coins. So now into this vendor, we're gonna go with a little bit more money uh, than I would have that would, than I would have had in the previous vendor. So we are in a better situation. Yeah. So this guy apparently doesn't count as a guard. That's uh, interesting. Okay. Find the exit. This one is like straightforward. You just go up. I'm gonna pick up the coins from this though. I pick up the coins from this guy as well. And there we got Divinia. Let's see what she has. Gain Inspiration, uh, Increased Resolve Recovered, Monsters Impact Resolve, Increased Effect of your Non-Unique Relics. Okay, so we're going to pick up these two. So we're going to pick up uh, Monsters Impact Less Resolve and Increased Effect of Non-Unique Relics, which is going to actually put me from 843 to... Actually, doesn't do anything. Maybe in the next room? Let's see. 843? No, still 843. It's not doing anything for me. Okay, let's go into the pact. Um, and uh, potentially we can get another good reward. Find exit. Okay, let's try to not get hit by these. Okay, this one is tricky. Actually, I should just skip this guy. Oh, I didn't notice that uh, we are entering a magma orb zone. There we go. And we can exit and use the pact. Okay, gain a random minor affliction, random minor boon. Uh, perfect. 250 inspiration. Oh, actually, that does nothing. Remove split purse, gain a random minor affliction. Just remove split purse. And we have actually zero afflictions now on me. We literally have zero <laughs> afflictions on me. I have only boons and 800 resolve. This run is going pretty well. All right, let's see what else we have. So we got major treasure. So we're looking for the rewards now, right? So I'm just gonna go pass through the rewards uh, and get some extra chaos, extra stack decks, and then we're gonna fight the last boss. So this is defeat all the guards. Uh, I no longer have the insta kill boon we run out of insta kills so we have to manually kill them i don't need to collect any coins anymore okay these guys are trying to attack me All right everything done get 14 chaos orbs at the end and next one is some stack decks. 
normally you would pass through the other ones probably right like depending on depending on the afflictions okay find the exit so we just go through here Okay, kind of have to kill this guy because he's uh, blocking the way. You can actually jump here. Uh, no, no, that's not the one. On the other one, you can actually like jump to skip. I'm gonna show you in a second. So here, you can jump this way. Then you can jump back this way, and here, so you can skip this last one. Uh, and we've got twelve stack decks. And then we go into the boss fight with literally zero afflictions, <laughs> only boons. So the boons we have is um, monsters impact less resolve, so I should not lose all of my resolve. Monsters have reduced action speed, they deal 40% less damage, they have 30% less life. So we have some combat um, boons, which is very nice to have. So let's try to not fail this fight because this is the only part of the fight that I am actually afraid of. Okay, please don't destroy me. Okay, we phased her, so we took a little bit of resolve damage, but that's acceptable. Let's try to not get hit. Not get hit, not get hit. You can jump here, flame dash through that. And we got 750 resolve. And the last phase after this one doesn't even use the resolve. So this is the last moment of this whole run where we need resolve. So it turns out. Yo, can you die? Okay. Turns out we had. <laughs> this is. We are still finishing the run with zero afflictions, some gold despair, and 800 resolve. So the challenge uh, is definitely doable if you have the right relics not even that difficult let's make sure my filter doesn't hide anything and let's fight this guy so I cannot face her before uh, she does the labyrinth thing which is a very very scary move that I've died to a couple of times yep so let's try to look for the openings in this okay it's making me go here okay we, we got a really easy job oh I got hit Okay, just gotta remain calm, stay calm and look for the gaps. And then just finish the job. There we go. We got invocation, we got sanctified relic, we got a jewel. And then we've got a little bit of rewards at the end as well. We got some stacks of chaos and stack decks and other stuff and we got the divine orb earlier in third floor that we already cashed out so let's see what did we get as a reward here we've got gain 40 resolve when you kill a boss we've got fire damage leashed as life 10 percent mana reservation efficiency Ooh, that's a pretty good one that's a, that would mean i can potentially like fit zealotry if i get enlightened and this I can fit Zealotry as well and actually do way more damage. Probably I'm gonna do that actually. This is really really nice. Uh, that's a nice relic for me. Uh, that's gonna be definitely usable. Then I've got also the unique one. Uh, I already run this one before so rooms are unknown. This item is destroyed and you get two extra sanctified relics at the end. Uh, plus also uh, usually the unique one. So this is really good as well. Um, uh, definitely recommend running this if you feel comfortable if you have like good relics to carry you then you can just basically not see any rooms and just go wherever and you still are gonna complete it with like tons of uh, resolve to spare and inspiration to spare and then I've got the whole reason why we run this challenge so adds crimson dance to a sanctified relic okay so I can potentially play some crimson dance build I think I have something that could that I could maybe use with it. So the thing that I have uh, that I could maybe use with Crimson Dance, let me see here are my other relics that I collected. So I have 
bleed, right? We got something with bleed. So I got 33% chance to intimidate and bleed uh, deals damage 8% faster. So I could use the Crimson Dance on that. For those of you who don't know, Crimson Dance is located here and you inflict bleeding on an enemy up to eight times. And this is really fucking cool with um, some builds. Like if you, for example, wanted to play like a Deadeye uh, Bleed Bow, then maybe you don't even need to pass to here, right? Actually, these nodes, like the, there's still so many bleed nodes here that you want to pass to. But if you wanted to somehow avoid passing to here and just stick to this side of the tree, um, then you could potentially get the Crimson Dance and uh, be able to use it without having, uh, you know, without having to pass to it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is what we got. That's how you run the challenge uh, Sanctums. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time.